Good morning, guys. So we posted our commercial for upcoming vlogs, and I gotta say, I was super surprised. Uh, we have almost a thousand views in less than a week. I was not expecting that. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that uh, went out there and looked at it. And I was going to post another vlog in January, but you know what? I'm super excited and I can't wait to do another one. So we're just going to post one. And uh, I hopefully you like it. We can't do this without you. So make sure you subscribe down below and you click on the like, right? That's the one with the thumb going this way. We don't like this one. Uh, share it. Spread the word, okay? Because we're trying to get this up and going and we could really use uh, your help on it. And also, feel free to send me any kind of letters, you know, any questions uh, to our police department and attention to social media. When I accumulate enough, I'll read them on a separate vlog. I got a real busy week coming up this week. 2017 is right around the corner, so I have to schedule the whole department for 2017 to attend the mandatory training. Uh, it's part of what I do in the sports services division. Uh, what I really love doing is the community relations, and I was so excited today because I came in, and if you see right over, I want to say like right over here, maybe, these boxes are uh, our mugs, our coffee with the cop mugs. And we had two so far, and they were real successful. Um, coffee with a Cop is a national program for community outreach to bridge the gap between the citizens and the police department. So. Uh, what happens is businesses will reach out to us and say they want to host coffee with a cop and they provide the coffee we provide the cops and we just there's no agenda there's no speeches it's just hanging out with the cops we had two so far like i said and there was a great turnout we got to know a lot of our citizens within our Persephone community and they were really great they, they, they came in some of them came in with you know with issues and concerns that they wanted addressed which which we followed up on yeah, but for the most part, everybody just came in to just get to, to get to know us, to meet us, and uh, we encouraged that. And it was really good for us too because we walked out of there feeling really good about everything, especially nowadays with what's going on in the media. If you stay tuned, you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Um, well, we're going to be having probably two more coming up um, sometime soon in, in the next year, and uh, you get one of these mugs. Coffee with a cop. Okay, all our information on the back. Matter of fact, that's our address right there. I'll just do that. So if you want to send us any questions, go ahead and send it to that address. Attention social media. Okay? Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. So we are setting up for our annual awards and inspection. Once a year we have an event where we honor uh, the officers that have done an outstanding job. We also uh, nominate civilians as well to get the awards. So this year we had two civilian awards to give out. So this is the setup, and we're just waiting on the officers to come in. Civilian Service Award that was nominated by Sergeant Lamana and was 
Well, Trey Ultimate School. Cool. And the reason it's special for me to, to sum it up, on May 16, 2016, Dave was at the Outback Steakhouse, minding his own business, having dinner, and like so many times he's done before, he saw somebody who was needed of aid, um, a woman was choking, Dave sprung into action, did the high maneuver. Um, I'm just I'm very proud to have you here, so come on, come up and service to the police department and community of Percent Detroit Hills. December 2nd, 2015, your knowledge and use of an AAD along with immediately beginning CPR and activating the 911 system and emergency response by LA fitness staff members aided in saving the life of a citizen of Percent Detroit Hills. Thank you so much.